Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the J&D Fishing Channel. You join us today in the J&D Tackle Shed because it's absolutely chucking it down with rain outside and we haven't been able to get out fishing all week. So today we thought we would do a little review video of a recent purchase that we've made which has resulted out of a rather undignified incident that I had last time that we got out on the bank. We pretty much blanked apart from one tiny roach and it was blistering hot. But I, to be fair to say, got caught short. We went out fishing nice and early in the morning, didn't go before I went, and ended up having to um, go in the reeds, as they say. Have a nature one. So it was the worst experience of my life, and as a result of that, I looked for something to uh, get around of those problems in the future. So today, we are going to be reviewing this now before anybody turns off the video and says oh my god he's doing a review of a bucket this is more than just a bucket this is the ridge monkey cozy modular xl bucket toilet so why did i buy it because i don't want to ever go through that experience ever again but it is more than just a bucket as you see yes it's got a lid on it and it and it is essentially um, a bucket but it does convert with a kit that's inside so let's just have a look at that now I'll take the lid off now this is Ridge Monkey's um, modular bucket system which actually does have side trays to go on the side and you can use it as a normal bucket it's a spud bucket um, it's actually the extra large version so you can put all your stuff in it as you go into the riverbank but the reason why we got it today or we got it the other day was because it comes with this kit now in this Ridge Monkey bag and before we go any further we are not paid by Ridge Monkey to promote this product um, it's just something that I looked for as alternatives on the internet and um, there were a few there was the Bivy Lou there was the Kampakazi that sort of thing but I needed something that was going to be lightweight that we could throw on the barra and put in the bivy with us or just take to the riverbank. But what this comes in, I think it was uh, 44 99 seen various prices on, on the internet for it, but um, it comes with the toilet seat kit. Now, there are a few, few other things in the bag, which I will go through in a minute, but I just want to show you the toilet seat. So, first and foremost, it's a three part seat and all it does is it clips straight onto the bucket like that okay and the first part contains the usual lid essentially and then as we tip that forward you can see it's a rather nice decent sized toilet seat um, that flips up to reveal uh, the next part of the kit which is the bag um, retaining um, flap or whatever you call it on here so basically inside here there are some black plastic bags it comes with disposable granules so that once you use a toilet um, the mess gets soaked up you can bag it up and safely dispose of it so you put your bag into the toilet you put it around here and there's some little retaining pegs and I don't know if you can see there's some little holes that this will actually trap the bag in place to stop it dropping back in whilst you're using it um, then you bring the seat down and then once you've finished if it's through the night or whatever before you get a chance to change it you can um, put the lid back on so let's just show you some of the things that come with the kit because apart from the toilet seat would you mind holding that Daniel thank you so much uh, other things that come in the bag so there are inside here or well, the kit does come with uh, a pack of five Cozy toilet bags. Now, Cozy is the name of the um, toilet seat, so if you're looking for it on the internet, that's what to search for Ridge Monkey Cozy toilet seat. And be warned because there are two versions it either comes in just the seat with the kit, which is about £30, or it comes in the full kit with the bucket, with the bags, uh, and a couple of other bits in here. So I won't get these out at the moment, but what I will say, these are incredibly hard to get hold of. Um, I have not been able to get an additional set of pack on or additional pack on the internet since I bought this. 
So what I have found on the internet is an alternative. These are called Bivy Lou. Um, the Bivy Lou is actually a, a, a version of, of a uh, toilet that you can buy, um, but these are more uh, prevalent on the internet. You can get these, I think they're about 13 99 for a pack of um, 12 liners, 12 sachets, and you actually get some wipes in there as well. What you get with the cozies in each pack for 7 99 is five bags and the granules um, in there. So that's the first part of it. The next part of the kit that you get, which I think is rather useful. So it comes with two toilet roll holders, metal toilet roll holders, and essentially there's two lugs on the side of the bucket, and there's a hook for the toilet roll holder, and it goes on there, and you basically put your toilet roll through the loops on there, and you can have one on each side if need be. So really handy, you're not gonna find that you're scrabbling around for your toilet roll in the middle of the night. So essentially, um, the size of the bucket is, as I said, it's, called, it's extra large. It will take up to, um, I think, 25 stone in weight. Um, I'm not gonna demonstrate it today, but Daniel will um, just show you. So we'll just clip the lid on and we'll move it onto the floor and then you can see what it's like with someone sitting on, on top. Okay guys, so let's talk about the dimensions. It says on the website that it's 55 centimeters high, about 30 centimeters wide and 28 centimeters or 27. I can tell you it's not that tall. It's actually about 43 centimeters tall. It's about 32 wide and probably about 29 deep. So Daniel, if you just want to sit on it. So Daniel's four foot five. How does it feel? It's comfortable, it's sturdy, and I don't feel like I'm gonna fall off. And would you be happy to use that when you were fishing? Yeah. Brilliant, okay, step up mate. So the only problem that I can see with this is it's fine for Daniel. Um, somebody my size, the hole um, at the front is a little bit small. Um, if you were going for number two, uh, nature means that you naturally go for a pee when you have that as well, um, and you wouldn't get all your junk tucked down the front as there. So it means that you're gonna be spraying out the front. Um, and if this is in your bivy, that's a problem in the middle of the night. Um, not so bad if it's outside, but it's still not ideal. So that's the only thing I would say about this. Uh, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to go through what I had to go through having a nature one um, on the last session but it's not without its limitations, but for 45 quid for the full kit, you get a bucket, you get a toilet, and it's a lot more comfortable than having to go in the bushes. So guys, that's the end of the review. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, drop us some comments. We've got loads of other things that we bought recently and we're bringing you to review um, those items for you. But um, please give us a shout and we'll see you next time on the J&D Fishing Channel. Bye-bye.